Hey guys, Big Granny Zil 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 here, and welcome to a tutorial on Lumber Tycoon 2. There's currently over 8,000 players in this game, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how to get started because a lot of people are confused, so I decided to make a video on this. So how to get started, you simply walk into Wood R Us, which is your main uh, shop where you're going to get all of your items for your land or chopping wood and stuff like that. So this is the main place you want to go if you want to get stuff. So the big thing that people get stuck on is how to get their items and first how you want to start out you obviously only have 20 cash is get a basic hatchet right here and how you can tell this is the basic hatchet you can press E or if you're using a controller it might be a different control and you can check uh, what it is so we're gonna go ahead and put this on the counter when you want to buy something you put it on the counter and then you uh, talk to this guy and then he'll ask you to buy it and then you just click yes and then you can uh, drag it to your base or just open it here and then you hover over it click open and then you can pick that up So now what you have to do next is Since we don't have any money to get land or anything else. We're gonna have to start chopping trees um, To start up a base and such so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that Let me turn my volume up so you guys can hear that There's a bit of music to the game too um, So the basic hatchet is really weak. Obviously, I'm chopping really slow right now um, so I just recommend grabbing the whole tree and just bringing it over here uh, So this is the wood drop-off. This is where you're gonna make your money and Once you get a base and stuff you can start making planks and making more money and just shove it in there like that uh, If it doesn't fit to start cutting off the limbs and the branches and such see we now have 40 money We can start buying a better hatchet or get a plot of land or such like that um, So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this bigger tree um, and by the way, to you guys that are wondering about this game, the trees do grow gradually. Um, so first they start off as like a little bush and they start growing and growing and they grow live too. Uh, nobody really notices it, but, um, I, I'll probably make a time-lapse video of a tree growing. And by the way, guys, there are different types of trees in this game too. So some make more money than others. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, this one's not going to fit, so again, you can cut off the limbs or the branches and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This wants to work. Come on, get out. Go ahead and do this real quick. Alright, so we get, we just got our tree in and we made $138, which is quite a bit in this game. So we can go ahead and go back to the shop. You can either buy a better axe, which uh, plain axe is 90 and then a steel axe is 190. I recommend getting the steel axe. It's a very good starter axe and it's very powerful. It's much better than the basic axe. It'll save you a lot of time. And then the hardened axe is 550 and the beta axe is like 1200. Also, I don't know if the bug is patched yet, but when you die, you also lose your axe. So make sure not to reset or go up to a volcano, which I'll make separate videos for that. So now that you have enough money um, to continue on with the game, as you can see, somebody's developing their base right there, and it looks like they're being pretty smart with it, I would say. But, um, so we go ahead and go here, and we're introduced to new music. So you want some new land? Yep. To go through some dialogue. Personally, I think it's pointless, but, um, so you choose a plot of land. Um, let's go ahead and get this one right here, since it's nice and close to the shop. Well, let's check out some of these other ones. That one's... I think that one's closer in a way. Let's go ahead and get this one. And by the way, when you do save and load, it'll you can change your lot, by the way. It'll, you'll be able to choose one. And your base does save. Just make sure you do save over it. And again, you'll lose your axe. So, um, you know, if you're out of money and you decide to leave the game, then you're kind of out of luck right there. And you probably need to sell stuff somehow. Alright, so after you save up uh, some more money, you can go ahead and get a... Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and save up money, and then I'll show you guys how to do that. Because this is a getting started tutorial. Um, so after you save up money for your land and such, go ahead and get sawmills or whatever you want. Ma start making a system. Because um, planks are much more valuable. Or they make a ton more money. Um... And if you want to get some rare trees, like that pink tree over there, that's worth much more than these regular ones right here. But these still make pretty decent money. I mean, they're pretty much everywhere, too. Um, 
You can also go up the mountain, which I recommend you get a car for, and there's white trees, and again, there's volcanic trees too, which again, make another video for that, because it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> but um, if you make a small plank out of those little things, or those trees, you can get about 200 a piece from just one little plank. But most furnace or most sawmills do not work with it because it's really thick. Um, most sawmills do do work with this type of tree, however, because it's really small. But again, I'll teach you guys how to do that, and I'll be back soon. All right, so now that we saved up 190, I'm going to go ahead and buy a better axe, which I'm going to go ahead and get this steel axe, um, so I can save a lot of time chopping trees and I can chop better trees without so much worry. Because uh, the basic axe, it's not so great. It literally. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just going to wait for this girl to go ahead and get her conveyor. Um, that kind of stinks that you have to wait for people. Oh, apparently not. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this. Yes. <laughs> we only have six money now. I feel very poor. But uh, the difference with these axes, the better axes, is that when you cut a tree, it's not, it not only does a lot more damage, but um, it also sometimes it goes faster as well like the beta axe for instance you chop super fast but it's not the strongest axe like i believe this hardened axe is the strongest but the beta is the fastest so as you can see right here that i'm chopping like three times as fast because it does a lot more damage to the trees and this saves a lot of time in so many ways because you can cut faster you can get rid of branches faster you can pretty much do everything faster when you have a better axe and also uh, harder trees will not be so much of a problem anymore so as you can see here you know I'm not sitting here trying to cut off uh, branches having trouble over here I could just do it really quickly so now uh, that we have a better axe you can go ahead and get a sawmill and start making planks to get even more money um, but I also recommend getting a car as well because cars will majorly help you out in this game so a utility vehicle is $400. It's not really too much. It is fairly fast and it holds a lot. As you can see here, you know, you can't put whole trees in it or anything, but uh, if you're doing planks or something, I mean, each load that you take in with that vehicle could be worth like $200 to $1,000 in planks, which pays off really quickly. And if I had a vehicle, I could get to this tree in a couple seconds while walking. It took me a long time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and chop a rarer tree over here, one of these pink trees. That way I can uh, probably make enough money to get a sawmill and show you guys how that works and then get a car as well. I'll be back soon. All right, so now that we're done with that tree <clears throat> and we have enough money for a crude sawmill, um, we can go ahead and buy one of these. So, oh, it's called Chabby, sorry. Um, so this costs 130 This is basically a starter item to help make you planks. It can't take any large logs and it's really hard to use and it kind of sucks, but it does do its job. I mean, it pays for itself once you do make some planks with it. Um, I recommend putting more valuable trees in it, but again, it can't take that big of logs and usually valuable trees, they are much larger. So I'm going to go ahead and walk to my base. You can also place it across the map, but I recommend you walk all the way to your base that way you get the proper placement for it. And next we're gonna go ahead and save it for a car. And you can go ahead and set up conveyors for this too to make it easier to put in wood and such. Um, so I'm gonna and press E to place, and there we go. You can rotate it and turn it and all kinds of stuff. And by the way, guys, you can go ahead and take this sign and bring it to the shop to sell it as wood, and it actually does give you some pretty good money. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast. That actually gave us over $500 just from that sign. So let's go ahead and buy a car and then I can show you more basics to the game so you can start making more and more money and then you can start building up your base. Um, and you can expand your base too, but it's extremely expensive. Um, so uh, once you do reach like $600, you can get a better ax. And if you save up uh, 1,600, you can get that sawmill right there, which is only just a little bit better. But it is a lot easier to put wood in because it is, it's got a bit wider of a conveyor too. Um, anyways, for the car, let's go ahead and get this. It's a utility vehicle, very basic, nothing special to it. But it can be used to get around and transport items as well. So 
so we can open the box. And then what you do is you place the spawn at your base so you can choose uh, where the spawn is at the vehicle. To respawn your vehicle, it is $24, which isn't much. Um, so make sure you don't try to glitch the vehicle out. The vehicles are really glitchy. If sometimes when you get in them, your logs will fly out. But it's all worth it because it is pretty quick and fast. And I'll show you guys uh, what it's like to ride this thing as well. Alright, so let's choose a good spot for this. I think this would be a good spot right here. Alright. And it does uh, spawn it as a random color. So as you can see, there is pink trees uh, near our base over here. So let's go ahead and take our vehicle over here. As you can see, it is fairly fast. It's a lot better than walking. You can just store all your logs in it instead of just taking the whole tree with you. Yeah, you could walk up the whole tree. but um, So I do recommend getting a better axe than this if you want. Because stuff is going to get pretty hard. Because you're going to have to keep... Uh, chopping these into limbs and such to get it over to your base and now if, if it is close by I do recommend dragging it to your base so I could take this car back and then come back over here and drag the tree over there and then chop it which might be easier than trying to chop it and then putting it in the car which it does take a bit longer but I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead I feel like it would save more time of course I did chop it into a couple pieces already but we can bring most of the tree over here anyway so let's go ahead and do that and then I'll show you guys how much planks make and again this is a pink tree it's not the most valuable it is a bit it's worth more than those normal trees that you see right now it's also a bit larger as well um, so that's pretty much it to it alright so how do you make planks well first you can customize uh, how big your planks are the bigger you do make them uh, the shorter they'll be so like if I made this super thin this plank would be super long so I don't recommend doing that this is probably a really good size right here like 1 to 1.4 um, anything that's thin it's gonna be super long and it's not worth it and um, typically these larger blocks do make more money because they're smaller and they're more compact so basically you're just choosing how compact your planks are obviously the thicker the wood and the longer it is the bigger the planks are gonna be and also factoring down to your plank cross-section that you decided to put in too and then you also got stats right here max log length 10 you can't put in huge logs or sticks in here um, but you uh, 1.4 so I probably can't fit a huge like log into it that's super wide it can only take fairly narrow logs um, so I don't know if this one right here can fit but we'll try um, so that's what planks look like and it varies between tree and tree so you can go ahead and load this into your vehicle um, after <clears throat> you're done doing them so let's go ahead and drive back to the base no, not the base. Um, obviously, you want to cut down the whole tree and make all your planks before that, but we're just going to quickly do this real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and take these here, and then voila. <clears throat> go ahead and sell them here. And as you can see, planks make a ton of money. If I had a stick that was that big, I would make like 5 to $10, but those planks, and those were little stick logs, by the way, uh, I would I was making about forty dollars a plank, which was a hundred twenty dollars just in three planks, on my vehicle, and that did not take that much work. That's worth about the whole tree right there, and just a couple branches. So as you can guys see, you can probably get the basics of the game now, and you can just keep doing this and building up your base and putting conveyors down and such. Um, also across the bridge there is two more shops. It is $100 to take down the bridge for three minutes, and you also have to pay to go back, too, if it, you run out of time. As you can see, this car is kind of not working very well. I mean, I'm pressing all kinds of different keys, and it's not doing what I want. But I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some likes, and leave some comments. Let me know if it was helpful or not and what other questions you guys have, and I'll be willing to help you out. And thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. And don't forget to share with your friends if they're confused about the game as well. Um, I'm going to make more videos about this game, uh, so make sure to check those out as well. Make sure to join my Roblox fan group, and I'll see you guys later. And I really enjoy this game. It does have some kinks that need to be worked out, but it is really awesome. I'll see you guys later.